What's up, man? It's time to get started. And we're going to go through two of my favorite people. I like Steve Harvey in his suits. And I like Floyd Mayweather in his casual, his casual dress. Let's get it started. Here we got Steve Harvey here. He's got pink lapel here. He's got a handkerchief with, with a double breasted. He's got a pinstripe on. He's got a button down collar. And as you can see, he everything is, looks nice and plain. He's keeping it simple here with a plain tie. The tie looks like it could be silk. And I, I like that. The next. Alright, here he's got these uh these Oxfords. These are Oxfords he's got on. They got that real shiny look to them. As far as uh, when I'm talking about shoes, as you can see, some of this is uh, some face, some not Facebook, but uh, some YouTube steals that I got from different things. Of you know, I gotta get Steve Harvey in his different suits. So you know, the only place you can find that, the best place you can find that is on YouTube and things like that, and just take a look at his suits during any of his episodes. All right, here he's got the window pane, and I like to call this the referee here. In the back, is that a pencil stripe? But it's, I like to call it referee because that's what it looks like. You know, with the you got referee, the black and white, and he's got himself a pattern tie. It kind of looks a little polka dot, but it's not polka dot. It looks more like a, a pattern there. But his handkerchief is polka dot, and as you see, his tie fits nice and tight, and it's in between the button down collar. This time it looks like he may have on penny loafers because it doesn't have that real shiny sheen to it. Uh, when I, considering his uh, considering his shoes, maybe penny, maybe maybe not penny loafers, but may just be some loafers, or maybe even um, maybe in a, uh, a monk strap. You just it's hard to tell. All right, next. Here I like this suit here. I also like the I like the fact that he's wearing his vest, a vest on the inside. It makes it have this tuxedo type of look. That's what I think. But um, I just think it, it kind of gives it that look. He's got another got another pattern tie. This time he just has a notch lapel right here, Sarah. And he's got a polka dot handkerchief, and he just has a spread. Spread collar. That's why his tie looks a little bigger. Alright, let's go. Alright, this one here. If I saw this tie in a store, I probably wouldn't pick it up because I wouldn't know what the word is with. Because I would, you know, with his following Steve Harvey example, you would know what to wear it with as long as you have a handkerchief. Handkerchief makes it look better, makes it all, you know, offsets it. Now, his suit is not, it's not black. You know, it's more of a, it, it has like this, this brownish tint to it which actually works with that tie because the tie is print also has some brown all right and he's just his like I said his tie looks bigger because of his uh, his collar is a spread collar here and here he just has a notch lapel when well, again my favorite type of suit here this time he's more like he's got the navy blue he's got a print a print tie again he's got a very simple just very simple. It looks like a piece of paper. <laughs> uh, handkerchief. He's got a spread. He's got a spread collar. And looks to me that this suit he's wearing has a peak lapel. This one's one of my favorites. He's got double breasted. It's, it looks plain, but he's got a double breasted suit here. He has a notch lapel. Again, this is his, his tie. Again, it's simple. This time, instead of just doing the simple handkerchief, this time he has a print handkerchief. It's got the same colors as the tie has. This makes it look a little more interesting. And he has a spread collar, and he just has a nice lapel. But I like the suit because it's silk looking. I like the sheen on it. To me, that's really says something about a suit. When you got that sheen, it's more like it means something extra. I like that extra. Alright, here we got window pane again. Window pane is also one of my favorites. He's got a print collar. I mean, he's got a print tie. And his his handkerchief is not print. It's just more solid colors. But they're the same colors as the tie, so it matches. Got a button down collar here. And his tie looks, looks alike. It's a lot uh, smaller, shorter. 
at the top because he's got a, a pin down he's got a pin down collar and his lapel is uh, peaked now there's a lot of suits that I probably passed up because it's peaked and I don't know I think it kind of makes me look different but I don't have Steve's body type so for me I think I, if you know for I work out more you know my body gets built more I think I can rock a peak lapel I think others can too alright here we got a notch lapel keeping it simple I like the stripes like he has like this ridges that's going down right here I like that this black is it's a black and you know single breasted as you can see just going right down where the belly button is and uh, Steve Harvey tends to have these clips on his ties now that clip you know, because you know the part if you have a back of the tie that kind of flings around, that clip is helpful, and it's nice to be have it look a, a certain stylish way. Because when I don't have a clip, guess what I'm using? I mean, I don't have a clip, so I'll end up using like one of them uh, hair clips <laughs> for real, or just one of them hair bobbins just to keep it, just to keep it uh, in place. The back of the tie that's smaller. If I don't have that, then what I'll do is I'll tuck the back of that tie into my shirt. It feels annoying. It does inside your where where your chest is, but that's all good. Now he's got a nice lapel here, spread spread collar. That's why his uh, you know, that's why the tie looks a little bigger. It's got a print tie. Here his Steve Harvey's handkerchief is not print, but it has black and white, which matches with everything else that he's got going on with the rest of his attire. Now this one. He's got a vest on, two polka dots. He got two polka dots going on. He got a polka dot tie, polka dot handkerchief. Matches perfect. Okay, and he's just got a either now because now he's this looks like he got a long point. He's got a long point collar because it looks to me that it is tucked inside of his lapel jacket here. You see his lapel because his lapel jacket here is peaked. It goes way out on the sides. And you know this one he just has open with a vest you know I would be getting real warm <laughs> with, with, with Steve's heart with, with the way Steve's dresses I would be getting real warm in that suit that's a lot of things going on you got you got your regular you got you probably got your undershirt underneath your white shirt then you got on a vest and you got on your jacket I, mean, I would be warm all right window pane one of my favorite prints I love that so you got window pane he's got two polka dots and in uh, checks he's got two polka dots here he's got a polka dot tie polka dot handkerchief with checks handkerchief looks like he's got two handkerchiefs there and then I believe that he's just doing that because he wanted something to go with the window pane look and checks was you know it's real small but it still looks like it's got those squares in it so that's good and he's got um, Steve Harvey has a his long point collar here now on the Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather likes certain colors. Black and white is one of his favorites, and black and gold is one of his favorites. And it's just, he tends, you'll see, he tends to stick with that. Here, the thing with Floyd Mayweather is he will have accessories. Like here, he'll, he'll have himself a hat. He'll have himself a cap on. Now here is his snake skin. As you can see, it looks like it has that python type of look, or you know, a snake's pattern. He has that snake skin along with some leather right here we got very wide very very wide window pane looking type of shirt here and I like the green I like that blue that blue pin right there blue pinstripe blue right there it's very nice now let's go to his uh, go to his glasses and his glasses seem to be they seem to look Either and uh, seems to look an oval face or a round face, but I, it seems to me like it's more of a wide round face. But I, I think it's more of an oval face to me because it goes like this, it goes around here like an oval, or more like an egg shape. That's more like an oval, but it's very nice. I like this right here. I like this shirt. If I could find a shirt like that, I would be finding a shirt like that because it's one of my favorite colors, green. Here he's rocking snakeskin again. He's keeping it two tone. He's got his blue leather here, blue accessory on the hat, and the snakeskin part is gray. So he just added the white part in there 
you know, to kind of go with it. I guess he didn't have a gray, but it's okay. There it is again. He's got them now. What he had underneath was his, his boxing shorts. He had snake skin with leather underneath, front, front, back, and the front. Next, right here he's, he's got just some jogging. Now this may not, these may not go together. It may just be that he just has a jacket that's blue, because you know Team Mayweather's way to say. Now, excuse me. Now I have some pants like this. Now when I'm running, you know, I want to have some deeper pockets. <laughs> I want to have deep pockets with these right here. You may be decked out, decked out in all box because I believe that these pants here are Reebok, so I have a pair that look like this. But he's out for a jog. Um, you know, he's getting his exercise. You know, he's training. But he's matching while he's training at the same time. So we have that there. His shoes just white. He's got a white stripe here. So his team may weather that's some white font. So that still matches. Here he's got TMT logo on the bottom. That matches at the top with his white shirt, white tank top. And he is, you can see his favorite color combo. Black and yellow, black and gold. That's more of a neon yellow, more of a neon green. Here we got his uh, color scheme again. We got black and white. This time black and white with the snake skin with the leather. Very shiny leather here. We got it's at the top and the bottom. So he's keeping it matches. Not jeans or anything, but you know, because these are boxing shorts, he's about to go out on this. Here we got his color scheme again. We got, you know, his black and white color scheme. Works good for Floyd Mayweather. And he's got his, uh, you know, he's got this shirt here. When you see shirts like this, you know, uh, why this shirt, why the sleeves look like that. You know that's a, that's a raglan. It's kind of like a it's like like you see with baseball teams and baseball uh, shirts and things like that. It's raglan. So you gonna say on the back boom, you got three, you got some what? I guess five stars. <laughs> you know, I can only see three right here in the photo, but why wouldn't it be more five stars? It's Floyd Mayweather we're talking about. He's 50, 59 no or fifty and no now that he fought um what's his name Conor McGregor. All right, here we got his black and gold going on. So we got a little bit of blue there, but he he needed something to match to match what the rest of his outfit that he's got going on. So boom, everything is mostly black. Black accessory hat, you know, black long sleeve, black pants. He's got the gold shoes or yellow shoes. Got a gold star on his on his top hat. Hat right there, gold or as you say, yellow. All right, same thing. He's, he was getting out the car here. I just wanted you guys to see that he this is his. He's still going with his black and gold, black and yellow type of scheme. Here's where it says TMT. There you have it. That's in gold. The rest is black. Now, if I was to see this type of suit, I probably wouldn't pick it up because I wouldn't. I would think, well, what tie am I going to? You know, where with that? Well, as you can see, he's got a print tie. It's really, really very, very small, almost polka dotish, but it's more like ridges. It just has um like these ridges in them that make it look. You know, it makes it look like that. But the tie's color is so almost exact with with his uh, suit here. And then you got notch lapel. And he's just got himself. He just got himself a, uh, just a regular collar. It doesn't look long pointed or anything. Because it's not, it's not tucked into a suit. And this is why I would say that this is a regular collar here. Because it's not long pointed enough to be tucked into a suit here. Now these glasses again. He tends to stick with the oval, the oval face glasses. How you know if you take an egg, you hold it up to where his glasses is. You know you take the point of the egg and you hold it towards the nose, and that's there how it looks like it's an oval face. Here I like this. I like this suit here. Now this here is not oval face. Doesn't seem to me. This seems to be like this would be a, a you would say a a round face. Glasses where it's kind of square looking. I would say he's wearing his round, his round face glasses. Now his glasses isn't all extra shiny. It's not real reflective. You know, it it goes with the suit. Here he's wearing a turtleneck. You know, don't make fun of the people who's wearing a turtleneck because you know it can look good on you. Just you guys gotta wear the right things. Here's got gray, almost. He's got he's got black. It's almost gray, grayish suit here. Now this looks like a peak lapel because it comes out much further than. Than the top part of the of the lapel of the part of the suit here. 
and I like the sheen. The sheen here is not too much. You know, it's not too much sheen or sheer. You know, I like I like the sheen, but it's not too much of it. So he's just got right here. It seems like he's going with the gray and black. You know, both maps are you no. Know, they're just a, they're more of a tint. They're not necessarily like a color. You know, it's just a that's more like a, a tint, or yeah, something like that. All right, then we got him with just a notch lapel. He's got a vest on now. Vest on. You know, and he's got himself. He's got. It looks like a like a checks. Looks like a checks or a very very you know close window pane here. But it looks like checks. He's got his check shirt. He's got a printed tie, and you know, as far as ties go, I think it would have. I think it would look, you know, better with a tie that's as more of the same color as his vest. But I think that he wanted to make it look a little extra something because he doesn't want to look too plain, which is why I believe that he went with this checks, with this check shirt here. And here we got oval face again. We got oval face uh, glasses. Probably already seen that one. Here, my favorite shirt, like I always call it, referee. You no, know, he's got pencil. He got a uh, pencil stripe, pencil stripe shirt. And over here, his handkerchief, which is good. He offset it with an handkerchief. No tie this time, but he's got a bow tie. Okay, bow ties look different when you put them together. It's not long, so you can't take a very long tie and turn it into this bow tie here. You've got to actually have a there's actual a bow tie. Okay, it looks wavy at the ends and not straight and triangular like a regular tie is. You hear, you can't even see what type of collar he's wearing. But I would, I would assume it would be buttoned down simply because it would keep this, it's better to keep this bow tie in place. And he's got a pink lapel here and a checkered or it could even be, uh, you know, striped handkerchief or we can't tell, it could be folded. Here he's, you know, here he's got his accessories. It's all black hair. Probably a notch lapel jacket here. It looks like it's got fur. Okay, so it's more of the colder weather side. You can tell it must be cold because why would you wear, you know, turtleneck and fur? So you know, guys can still wear fur. Fur is not just for, for fur is not just for chicks. You know, it's not just for women. I mean, you can wear you can wear fur too. He's got his turtleneck here of a sweater material or like yarn is all right here we go we got it looks like looks like window pane or plaid okay more like plaid though so we got Floyd Mayweather here or the plaid and underneath his hat okay he's just not all black that red underneath his hat can still be seen and it can be seen along with his shirt now is now here it looks like it's hard to tell if this here is a zipper or if this is just button down with the overlap to cover the buttons well I want to say it's a zipper because that part right there might looks like a zipper to me which is a real crazy combination but that's cool now he's just got regular glasses here oval face or round face it's hard to tell on this one now most men don't wear flower prints, we leave that for the women, but here, if you're rocking your black and white, go ahead and get yourself a flower print. You get it all in one tone. Don't get it looking, you know, I would say do like Floyd Mayweather does, Floyd Mayweather does here, don't get it in all these different colorful colors. You know, go ahead and keep it real simple, keep your black rose, you know, that sounds, it sounds like a masculine type of thing. You know, black rose, just get with your black and white, go ahead and get your oval face accessories to go with it and you're good all right here you can see an access, another accessory that we couldn't see before which is the band of this watch even the band of this watch is green okay but well, he wanted to keep that in the color contrast and not with the tint contrast because he already you know he has tint he has black and white and then a little bit of gray in there but he wants to show that more of that color there and he's about to got the green watch on which is nice well right here he's got himself a polo on Okay, you can call it polo or you know or rugby, but if you see look at the collar there, that you know you can only really tell if it's a rugby if the collar is stiffer and sturdier. He's got himself a belt on some khakis. Okay, and he's got him a you know he's stuck with his accessories here. Now most people say, well, if you're in your building, you'll take your hat off, but he might be getting ready to leave, you know, or maybe he likes to wear his hat. You know, who knows? 
but he's the, he but he makes sure he got the accessory now his hat might have been white he may have wanted to go white black white you know something like that but it still matches nonetheless it's all good here is we've seen this shirt before that he had now this seems like a polo okay because the polo you can flip the you can flip the collar up on a polo and that collar doesn't look too stiff but it does it looks pretty good to me it may be uh rugby because it's a thick you know that collar looks pretty thick it's very nice and uh you know as you fill out your you fill out your shirts you know when you're exercising with your muscles it makes it look better now with me i would have tucked my shirt in i guess because i was raised that way but that's just what i would have done but uh, he wants to feel more relaxed look or maybe you know maybe he's taller than we think and so him having his excuse me, him having his shirt tucked in might make him look you know different so him him having his shirt his shirt down might make him look like make him his attire look more even his jewelry here his also his accessories here also match watch it matches black and white boom He's got, well, he's got silver. You can't you have white with jewelry, but you can have silver or you can have gold or rose gold. And so, of course, go with your silver. And here we got, got another shirt here. Here we got a, uh, this one is just casual. It seems like he's just kind of threw something on. It's not really, it's not really anything. He's got gray jeans here. Okay. But we have we would have to really zoom in to tell what type of jeans those are. But he's got just we would call that gray jeans. And um you know he's got his you know shirt wise, he's got his raglan, because the sleeves are a different color than the chest here, the chest area. And you know he's got a white hat, so white go a white white hat with the white shirt. But he's not really matching here on, on all levels. He's just casually doing whatever he, when he wants. Here, you know, you can do that too. You know, he's just flying somewhere. He may change later on. But throw something off, feel comfortable. You know, you don't have to be matching every second. Spread I me, mean, he's in a plane, probably private. Who's really going to see him? You know, whoever's when they when he step off that plane, they're going to see him. But he may change in the plane, we all know. Here he's got his favorite again, black and gold. Boom, got the shoes, look like it could be a gold and yellow color. Crease pants, black, gold chain. Doesn't look silver to me, looks gold. As you can see, as it comes around his neck, looks like a gold chain. So another gold accessory, along with a gold, gold shirt there, long sleeve. Now this is pretty interesting, this tie-dye here. And he's got himself a gold chain, gold watch with the black band. And because he also has a black stripe here in the in this jean get up could be Levi who knows but it's tie-dye which is pretty interesting you know you would think you want to keep your 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 jeans not looking bleached at all you know you just some people consider that an, an ugly look but some people think it's a style you know well to each their own I like a nice all the way jean I think it looks fresher that way Having stuff look blotchy for me, I don't, I don't, I'm not, that's not something I would do. But he keeps it matching, white shirt, boom, white accessory at the top, boom. With the, with the bleach jeans thing going, he got going on, that helps. That gives it more detail or more contrast or more, more detail to look at on what he's wearing. Because you got white hat, boom, white shirt, boom. Some white in his, some white, white splotches and blotches on his, uh, on the jean outfit and the bottom also pants too nice here he's got a jumpsuit I love jumpsuits track suits jumpsuits are my favorite which are my favorite things because they keep me real comfortable and you know sometimes let's face it you know for me shoot jeans can jeans get itchy itchy you know I, I, joggers are my favorite things track suits is my favorite thing jumpsuits are my favorite things yo it's great now he may be a little chilly because I only say this because he's got this collar way up as if it's a turtleneck but he is around water and around water it is a lot cooler so dress for the you know dress for your occasion of where you're going to be where you're going to be at you see it there's other boats here he doesn't look like he's on any pier at all so he may be on a boat himself 
Okay, so around in, in wa around water, it's cooler. Dress for the cooler weather. You know it wherever you go. If it's going to be hot or it's going to be nice and warm, you know when you get out there on that water, it's cooler out there on the water. Dress dress a little warmer. Now when I go on a boat, yeah, I've always noticed that it's cooler there. Or if I go to the shore of a bank when I go fishing, I notice it's cooler there. So we want to wear something that's more, you know, it's more warmer. Nice jumpsuit. All right, here he's got his pants is creased. So so you know he's not going to be wearing this this hoodie here, this zipped hoodie. We know he's not going to be wearing this this jacket. Okay. He's not going to be wearing this when you see creases in the man's pants because he's about to just go somewhere. He's just a little chilly. You know, he's cold. He just got this jacket on, but nonetheless for picture purposes and other reasons, I mean here he is and his you know, his his zipped up hoodie matches with his pants, the same color. He then here we are again with the black and gold. He's got a zipped up hoodie, looks like it's zipped right here, because you can see this right here. Seems to be zipped, doesn't seem to be that that is from his headphones. But his accessories are also black and gold. We can't tell what type of glasses these are or kind of sunglasses these are because we don't know if it's oval faced or round faced or a triangular face. We can't really tell because he's he's faced to the side. But here we got black and gold again. And he only keeps it. As we see, he mostly keeps things at a two-tone level. Well, especially Steve Harvey. He keeps things definitely two-tone level. But we've seen Floyd Mayweather go out and have three different tones. Black black and gold and and white. Or like we saw with his jumper. You know, with his jumpsuit. He had red and black and white with the stripes. You know, like we saw earlier with his jeans, he got some bleed splotches on his jeans on his jean jacket jean pants, denim pants and other things as well as the stripes he's had on his sleeves this is the last photo I got and I want to thank you guys for watching thanks